Welcome to lesson 3.2. In this lesson, we're just going to practice the five rules that we learned in the last lesson. Just lots and lots of more practice. So we're going to start right here with example one. And I'm going to structure these very similar to how we ended in 3.1. I'm going to have you start by finding our five. Domain, x-intercepts, y-intercepts, vertical asymptotes, and end behavior. Use the rules that we learned in the last videos in 3.1 to find these five things. So I want you to pause the video, find these five things, and then we'll come back to check, see how you did, and we'll graph them together. Let's see how you did. We started with our domain. Remember, domain comes from the denominator. So I factored the denominator to x minus 2 and x plus 2, difference of squares. And then I said the, den the denominator cannot equal 0. So I got x cannot equal negative 2 and x cannot equal positive 2. So there's my domain. X-intercepts are the numerator. So set the numerator equal to 0 and solve. Write it as a point. I know that this x-intercept is odd because the secret exponent on this 3x is a 1, and 1 is odd. Y-intercepts, we plug in 0. So I plug 0 in, I got 0 over negative 4, which goes to 0. So y-intercept is also at 0. Notice I graphed these as well. There's my odd x-intercept and my y-intercept. Vertical asymptotes are your denominator. So we have x equals 2, set this denominator equal to 0, get x equals 2, which is odd, because once again, the secret exponent on this is a 1, which is an odd number. And I took the x plus 2, set it equal to 0 to get x equals negative 2, which is odd. And notice I graphed those over here, and I did little o's at the top because they're both odd. Last, and behavior, the degree on top is 1, degree on bottom is 2, so this is bottom heavy. So it is 0. So I put my stars at 0. So now that we've got all that done, let's graph this. If I look at this graph, I always like to start at my points. But I have a problem here with this point. Because I know this x-intercept is odd. I know I'm going to cross through it. But the question is, am I going to cross through it like that? Or am I going to cross through it like that? And I don't actually know. So this is a graph where we're going to need to find a starting point. So a good way to find a starting point is on this x-intercept that we're focusing on, we're going to pick a point on either side of the x-intercept and just plug it into the equation and see what we get. So we're going to do a starting point right here. I'm going to plug in, let's plug in 1. That's on this side of the x-intercept. So I have 3 times 1 over 1 squared minus 4, which is 3 over negative 3, which is negative 1. So I can graph this point as 1, the number I plugged in, comma, negative 1, the answer I got out. So I can go to my graph and graph the point 1, negative 1. That's the answer when I plug 1 in, I get negative 1 out. So now if I have this starting point and I know I have to go through the starting point, now it's a lot easier to see what direction I'm supposed to go through that x-intercept. I know I need to go that way. So now if I come over here on this side, I'm up against this asymptote. I can't go straight through it. I can go up or I can go down. I can't go up because that would make another x-intercept, so the only option is to go down. Over here on this side, another asymptote. I can go up the asymptote or down. Not going to go down because that will make an x-intercept, so I have to go up. Now if I look at this asymptote, this is an odd asymptote. I know odd asymptotes need to face opposite directions on either side. So since this side is down, this side has to be up. And there's nothing between that and my star, 
so curve around and point at my star. And I go to the other asymptote, it's also odd, so they have to face opposite directions. So if this side is up, this side has to be down, and nothing between that and my star, so curve around and point at your star. So like I told you, these rational functions, they are weird graphs. This graph kind of looks like it should be three separate graphs, but it's not. It is all one graph. You just can't cross that vertical asymptote, so these sides will never, ever connect. So that is example one of our practice. In the next video, we'll keep doing more example practices.